Somewhere in the quiet void of space, beyond the scattered dust of dying stars, there is something so powerful, so utterly mysterious that not even light can escape it. A region where the known laws of physics collapse, and reality begins to break apart. A black hole, but before it was a cosmic monster, it was a giant, a star at least 20 times the size of our sun. For millions of years it burned bright, fusing hydrogen into helium, releasing energy in a brilliant display of nuclear fusion, until one day, it ran out of fuel. Without energy pushing outward, gravity took over, and the core of the star began to implode. In seconds, it crushed in on itself. Atoms collapsed, neutrons fused, and then, a point of infinite density was born. A singularity. A place so dense it has zero volume but infinite mass. Surrounding it is the event horizon, the invisible boundary beyond which nothing can return, not a spaceship, not a photon, not even time. Let's imagine you're drifting through deep space. Maybe you're an astronaut on a doomed mission. Maybe you just got too close. Ahead, the stars distort. You don't see. The black hole. You see what's around it. Light from distant galaxies spiraling like water circling a drain. This is called an accretion disk, a ring of gas, dust, and sometimes entire stars being shredded and heated to millions of degrees as they spiral in. It glows with x-rays, it hums with energy, but inside that glowing halo, pure darkness. As you get closer, your clock ticks slower. This isn't science fiction, Einstein's theory of general relativity tells us, the closer you are to a massive object the more time dilates. From your point of view everything seems normal, but if someone were watching you from a safe distance, they'd see you move slower, and slower, until, just before the event horizon, you appear to freeze, suspended in time. To them, you never quite fall in. But you? You're falling, and nothing can stop it now. You pass the event horizon. This is the point of no return. No engine can escape it, no signal can be sent. From here on, your fate is sealed. And then comes the pain. If it's a stellar mass black hole, you'd experience what physicists call spaghettification. Your feet are closer to the center than your head, the gravity pulling on them is significantly stronger. You begin to stretch, cell by cell, molecule by molecule, until your body becomes a string of atoms, a strand of matter twisted and snapped apart by the most extreme tidal forces in the universe. But, that's just one fate. If you were falling into a supermassive black hole, like the one at the center of our Milky Way, Sagittarius A, which is four million times the mass of our sun, the story is different. The tidal forces near the event horizon are weaker. They don't stretch you right away. You might cross the horizon painlessly. No stretching, no burning, just silence. You'd fall, gently, and then? No one knows. Inside the event horizon, physics breaks down. Space and time reverse roles. Time pulls you in like a river. You can't turn around, you can't stop. The singularity is no longer a point in space. It's a moment in your future. You are being pulled not to it, but through time towards it. Just as you cannot stop tomorrow from arriving, you cannot avoid the singularity. What happens when you reach it? Some theories say you're crushed to infinite density, that you become part of the black hole's mass, gone forever. Others suggest something stranger. Some physicists believe that the information that makes up you, your particles, your structure, might not be destroyed. According to the black hole information paradox, it can't be. Quantum mechanics says information is never lost, but general relativity says it's destroyed in the singularity. So who's right? A newer theory, the holographic principle, suggests that everything that falls into a black hole is somehow encoded on its surface, like a 3D object flattened into a 2D shadow. Even weirder, some scientists think that a black hole could be a gateway, a portal to another part of the universe, or to another universe entirely, if instead of being crushed, you emerge? What if on the other side of the singularity is a white hole? the theoretical opposite of a black hole, one that cannot be entered, only escaped. It's never been observed, but mathematics allows for it. 
And here's the most mind-bending theory of them all. What if our entire universe was born inside a black hole? Some cosmologists propose that the Big Bang wasn't the beginning, but a bounce, the result of matter collapsing into a black hole in another universe. Our universe expanding outward is just the interior of that black hole. In the end, black holes are not just cosmic destroyers, they're puzzles, gateways, perhaps even the source of creation itself, they hold the secrets of time, space, and reality. And yet, the closer we look, the darker it gets. Black holes aren't just the end of stars. They're questions without answers. Windows into the deepest layers of the universe, and maybe even into ourselves. And the more we learn, the stranger they become. If this journey through space and time left you with goosebumps, there's so much more waiting in a wormholes and dying stars to time travel and parallel realities. Subscribe to explore the mysteries of the cosmos. Like if your mind was bent, comment what you think lies beyond the event horizon. And remember, out there in the dark, the universe is still watching.